Well, the mid-year Corvettes are arguably the best Corvettes ever built. They had styling, they had performance. In 1963, who could forget the split window? By 1965, two big new features were out. You had the big block, the 396 four and a quarter horse, and you had four-wheel disc brakes. It was the first year of four-wheel disc brakes. Of course, it already had independent suspension. Now you had a complete package. 1966, they added the 427 with up to 450 horsepower. You thought it couldn't get any better? Well, 67 comes along, and they have the ultimate Corvette. They have the Stinger hood, a 427 with three two-barrel carbs, making 435 horsepower. Now, what's better than a 435 horse? coupe like this one here, a 435 horse roadster. These cars definitely had the complete package. You had side exhaust, you had the bolt-on wheels, you had the stinger hood. Great looking package, but they also performed like nothing else on the road. Let's take this for a spin. Sounds like a big block Chevy with side pipes. All that performance comes from 427. It's got 11 to 1 pistons, steel cranks, steel rods, four bolt mains, some great flowing heads, three two barrel hollies on aluminum intake, transistor ignition, then really works, but it also transmits all the power to the back end. You can either get an M20, an M21, and in some really rare cases, an M22 transmission. The rear end is really a 10-bolt independent. Now, that's probably the weakest link on a Corvette with so much horsepower and 465 foot-pounds of torque. I've got to admit, I've broken more than one set of U-joints in one of these things. Well, there's nothing like big block performance. Fun car to drive. The nice thing about this car is you're able to drive it. This car is not a trailer queen. It's got super nice paint. If you look in the door jams under the hood, nicely detailed, all sanded and polished. All the stripes are buried on the Stinger hood. Nicely done. All the chrome's been replaced on it. Bumpers, door handles, all the window frames have been polished. Again, very nicely done. Well, the wheels, they're factory bolt-ons, and of course they've got Coker Classic red lines that drive like brand new. Really makes this car handle nice, a little better than the bias ply that the car actually came with. The exhaust, brand new set of side pipes. That gives it that great sound. The interior, it's a great original interior. It's got leather seats, the original ones. The door panels are still the original ones. All the dash, all the gauges are still the original ones. It's got a teak wheel, which is a fairly rare option. It's got the headrest, which is also a rare option. Put the entire package together. It's not an over-restored car. It's a really, really nice driver. And under the hood, you can see it's nicely detailed. It's got all the correct hose clamps, all the correct hoses, the right alternator. The motor's painted properly. Even has a little bit of overspray on the manifolds, just the way the car came. Has the right fan, has the right belts. This car's been nicely restored. In its present condition, with the original motor and the paperwork that it has, it's got to be worth somewhere between seventy and $90,000.